Welcome back comrades, this is Gaming with Austin. Today, we're going towards episode 115 of the Utopian Community. Let's talk about the series. This is still on, we're still on season one. We are still on season one. Here we go. Gotta pause the game. Much better. If you're a cat, the only way you can eat is to kill other animals, if you're a cat. And if you don't kill animals, there's a risk you might die. Why cats don't scavenge? Their bodies are not designed to process rotting flesh. They need fresh meat. They prefer fresh meat over rotting meat. Cats, if they're out in the... Like, outside? They have a natural tendency to kill. They need that tendency to kill out in the wild. Because without it, they can die. Either from being attacked or from malnutrition. Dogs are something called scavenging carnivores. Meaning, they usually eat meat, but it's not necessary for them to eat only meat. It's not necessary. If you're going to put your dog on the vegan diet, you must be really careful. There's a good chance of error. There's a good chance he might make mistakes while doing so. An obligate carnivore means they have to hunt. The animal must hunt to survive. If they don't hunt, they'll die. Feed your cat a vegan diet and they can die. I think vegan cat food should be illegal entirely. Because cats in their natural state 
are predators. They will prey on almost anything. Yes, including our pet hamsters. They have to prey on animals to survive. They don't, cats don't just see it hamsters as a good meal. If you don't have any cat food and you have a ha hamster, then they'll probably end up breaking into the cage to eat the hamster. Because they have no source of food whatsoever. They resort to directly killing animals. If you can't provide them with food, your cats, you'd have to resort to killing... They'd have to resort to killing other animals to survive. Even if cats were able to be compassionate towards other animals, they'll still eat meat, regardless of how compassionate they are to other animals. Want to know why? A vegan diet for a cat is like forcing your horse to eat meat. Horses are herbivores. Cats tend to have the highest protein requirement out of a lot of animals. They are obligate carnivores. We humans are facultative herbivores. Meaning we'll only eat meat when the opportunity arises like we did in the Stone Age. Our canine compa and companions are scav- uh, by nature they are scavenging carnivores. In the wild, they eat mostly meat. But they'll eat plants too. When the opportunity arises. Let's talk about some retro gaming. Christmas is around the corner. Like, within like... About... 38 days from now. Christmas will take place 38 days into the future. Uh, from uh, Christmas will happen in about 38 days. Which is about hmm, five and a half weeks. Which is five and a half weeks. So you may want to do some Christmas shopping now while you can. Because when Black Friday starts, there's going to be a lot of traffic. The importance of New Year, uh, of the reason why everything's closed on New Year's Day, a lot of it's related to the fact that we have to celebrate the New Year. By nature, cats naturally don't eat kibble. If I had a cat, the best thing you can do for their health is feed them a raw diet of raw meat.
because it has all the stuff they need. has all the stuff they need to survive. And it's preformed state. The reason our bodies have to produce taurine is without it our teeth would suffer our teeth would fall out. All animals have to produce taurine. whether it be pr by producing it themselves or getting it in its preformed state like from like I said from meat preferably raw meat on a vegan diet is like forcing meat onto a horse. It is animal abuse to put your cat on a vegan diet. Why is it considered animal abuse? Feeding an animal an unnatural diet is not good for them. Think of the mad cow disease outbreak in the United Kingdom. Cattle were being fed meat and bone meal. That is... That is just disgusting. Which led to mad cow disease. Which is why the Red Cross does not recommend donating if you have been to the UK for a while. If you have a blood relative with CJD, like either familial or variant CJD, or fatal insomnia, you may want to get checked before you can donate. You may want to check. You may want to have yourself checked for it. Being checked for CJD before you donate. If you have family members with CJD, like in the genetic variety or acquired form, you may want to be checked for it too. Before we were able to produce uh, synthesize insulin, like in a lab, going vegan was literally impossible if you had type 1 diabetes. It's not just feeding your cattle an unnatural diet that can cause mad cow disease. Another factor that goes into play is genetics. For some cattle, sometimes their direct cause of, C of mad cow disease is a genetic mutation in the PR in Prion protein gene. If you're going to raise cattle for meat, you may want to have them go through genetic testing to make sure they're fit for human consumption. If they have the genetic mutation that causes mad cow disease, slaughtered through, not by slit, having their throat slit, but through lethal injection. As slitting their throat causes them to die in agony. Like, 
A three drug cocktail. A sodium thiopental. Thiopental. Pancuronium bromide. And potassium chloride. The reason there is no healthy salt substitute out there is because one, you need sodium in your diet. Without it, your organs are gonna fail. Your heart's gonna fail. And our, uh, your heart is not gonna pump it up enough blood for you to survive. Too much sodium can cause a cardiac misfire. All life on Earth requires electrolytes. Another more humane method of slaughter is through the use of inert gas. Like, put them into a gas chamber filled with inert gas. No, not CO2, because they'd start gasping. The problem with using helium is it's really expensive. Something like Argon would do the trick. It is slightly denser than oxygen. Like, I agree with Humane Society on the fact that we need more humane slaughter methods. The, the use of inert gas for the gas chamber instead of cyanide would be a revolutionary method. It'd be more humane. It'd be a more humane way to execute people. Instead of just lethal injection, which has a high, can have a high failure rate, electric chair can cause a power outage just like what happened with Pee Wee Gaskins. Commercial cat food is not very healthy. The best thing you can do if you had a cat is feed them raw meat. Even though you might be supporting a really cruel industry, you're doing it help your cat stay alive because cats as a species are obligate carnivores and if you want to be really compassionate towards animals it's best not to have a cat because without meat cats can die
Cats can literally die from malnutrition if you feed them a vegan diet. Some people tried to put their cats on a vegan diet. This is really sad. If I was to do Black Friday shopping, I did online. So I wouldn't take as long. One of the most valuable resources is food, because you need it to survive. When there's more animals than there are plants by mass, there's going to be a food crisis in the animal kingdom. You know, most animals can, most pets can go vegan, but cats are one of those few animals that can't. As it can literally kill them. It's unnatural for people to... Like, forcing people not to rubberneck in the event of an accident, it, for, you're literally forcing them to do something that is unnatural. It's un, you're forcing them to do something that is unnatural. Since we went from hunting to uh, hunter-gatherer species, straight up using agriculture. The reason why privacy is a must when using a bathroom, because using a bathroom in someone else's wa like, and shouldn't it be illegal to have your door op left open when you're taking a shit? Maybe, because pooping without any privacy, it's disgusting. Not only it's bad for you. Because there are peeping toms out there. It's also bad for everybody else. Who can... You can only do so much to change the, the dress code. It's illegal to let your... You know, indecent exposure... You know, the health department... With the health department... They don't allow people to urinate or defecate out in the grass. Because that is disgusting. It's... Our manure is not fertilizer. Our manure is not fertilizer. Unless you process it correctly. Many people don't know this. But if you do it correctly, you can... 
your dog can... If you veganize your dogs carefully, they can survive on a vegan diet. If you had a lot of cats, you'd have to be buying a shit ton of meat, just to keep them alive. While most animals eat meat, m cats are one of the only few that must eat it to survive. Like I said in previous episode. There are cats who end up getting emaciated as a result of their vegan diet. This is proof that you should never feed your cat a vegan diet. Ever. It's n For one, it's unnatural for your cat to be eating plants. For cats, unlike humans, if cats don't eat meat, they will die. You're starving your cat of the nutrients they need that can only be found in meat. Their bodies cannot process vegetable protein. Which is why they do not stalk on vegetables at all. Which is why they can't stalk plants. Like in that I Am's Cat Food commercial. In which the orange tabby cat said, quote, I am not a vegetarian. I had to quote this because I really am a veget. I'm an actual veget. I'm actually a vegetarian. I had to quote this. Apart from the commercial. Because, you know, with cats, they need... Without their sharp teeth, they wouldn't be able to process... Uh, break down meat really quickly. Good enough. If we... If we humans suddenly lost the ability to produce taurine and retinol... And amino acids are commonly found in... Animal... Herbivorous animals, like our dogs... One thing we'd have to do, and if it was due to a genetic mutation that was on, that mutation was on the rise, one thing that would happen is that we'd have to evolve to um, to adjust to it. Either that, or stop. If it was a chromosome. Um, if it was an extra chromosome, more mutation in which parts of one chromosome gets deleted. Genetic mutation will not work. How are we going to have vegan cats? The only way how we can do this is through genetic manipulation. Through the use of genetic engineering. Like with the DNA from a horse. One thing that would happen if we suddenly lost the ability to produce the essential amino acids that our cats can only get in its preformed state. One thing that would happen is that our teeth would start getting much sharper. Our, our fingernails we have would turn into claws that are made entirely out of bone. And 
another thing we'll notice if that something like that happens to humans is that our saliva would literally become battery acid. We literally have battery acid saliva. They'll react with metal. By the way, there's some recent news out there. One of those is that the co-creator Marvel, Stanley, passed away the other day. People are paying homage to him. By depicting him as having a massive cult of personality around his he uh, superheroes. Just like Stalin had a cult the Like... Like, in which he was surrounded by all his super or heroes, with Stalin being surrounded by all his people. You know you can live a healthy life on a vegetarian diet. If the gelatin found in Jello came from ground up ligaments, tendons, skin, and bones of dead people, when you eat Jello. Or gummy bears, or marshmallows, you'd be a cannibal. Disgusting. You know, cats need fresh meat, which is why they'd rather hurt the animals themselves instead of scavenging. Plus, for cats, if we ended up suddenly becoming obligate carnivores, in which either we eat meat or else we die. If every One thing that would happen is that we'd become really violent towards animals. Even our own pets. Like our dogs. We'd be. And if this substance found in meat that gave it its flavor was something we needed to survive, that we can't. produce. Another thing that would happen if we suddenly end up becoming obligate carnivores as a species. One thing that would happen is our teeth would end up getting sharper. Because, you know, cats are obligate carnivores, meaning without me, they'll die. Sadly, vegan couples tried to put their cats on the vegan diet. The cats end up dying. If you can, if you have a cat, don't ever put them on a vegan diet. Whether you're vegan or not, 
don't ever put them on a vegan diet because that's animal neglect. That's animal abuse. How's it animal abuse? You're forcing an animal to uh, into an unnatural diet. Anyways, this is it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like if you like this video. Dislike if you dislike this video. Subs if you loved it. Share this with your comrades on social media for more to help my channel. As always, thank you for watching and stay tuned for more. Peace out.